Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. If you're watching YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. Hope you guys are enjoying the new intros and the cool new outro um, that I include now in every video. Um, it, it makes the the editing and the, like the transferring from Twitch to YouTube um, a lot more lengthy, but I think it's worth it. Those extra seconds, I feel, add a little bit of quality, and I hope you guys are enjoying are enjoying it as well. And so, we are now going to be playing with um, Zorg, the new and improved, hopefully, Zorg, which a single card definitely makes the deck. Um, quite different, I guess, in some aspects. Um, there are a few new inclusions in the deck, but the main new inclusion, and it's the reason why it's the featured Pokemon today, is Ditto Prism Star. Ditto Prism Star, with its almighty evolution ability, once during your turn before you attack, you may put any stage 1 card from your hand onto this Pokemon to evolve it, and you can't use this ability during your first turn or the turn this Pokemon was put into play. So essentially, this Ditto's ability means we are playing with a 2-1 Weavile line, a 5-4 Zoroark line, a 3-2 Lycanroc line, and a 2-1 Makargo line. Obviously, once we exhaust the Ditto, um, we don't have those extra Pokemon, as I was saying, but um, having Ditto as an option and as a potential surprise attacker is really, really nice because just having the Ditto on the bench, um, it immediately will draw attention to itself right and then imagine having um a ditto with a counter gain and a rocker with an energy then um no matter what like if you're down in prices you could use dangerous rogue for either one energy or for two with the energy rock drop so ditto prism allows you to um really threaten your opponents and ria hisama you are right i should be playing the full art judge Right, I should be playing the fuller judge instead of the regular judge. There we go. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. So Ditto Prism opens up a lot of tech cards, and as you can see, we are running three stage ones. We have four stage ones actually. We have Zorak GX with its trade ability, discard a card, draw two, and then Ryage is beating, dealing 20 damage for each of your Pokemon in play. Then we also have Weavile with its 90 HP and its attack Icy Wind, dealing 10 damage and their opponent's active is now asleep. But Evil Admonition dealing 50 damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon that has an ability can potentially deal up to 250 damage, um, 300 damage rather. Then we have Baby Buzzle as well um, to use in Sledgehammer turn and get that damage output going as long as being a really good non GX attacker. Then we also have Lycanroc GX, 200 HP, ability Bloodthirsty Eyes. Um, Essentially, when Rockcraft or Ditto evolves into Lycanroc, you choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon, you bring it to the active, and then you have the attacks Claw Slash to deal with opposing Zorks, and Dangerous Rogue GX dealing 50 damage times each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. A really, really cool um, attack. Uh, this is the top 8 list, or similar Brutal Boys, based off of the top 8 list from Limitless, yes. And then we also have Makaru with its smooth over ability, allowing us to stack a card at the top of our deck and then drawing it with trade. Now we have a wide array of attackers along with the Ditto Prism Star. We now have Professor Elm's Lecture, which allows us to search our deck for up to three Pokemon with 60 HP or less, reveal them and put them into our hand. So that's why we are going back to using 60 HP Corner Rockruff and 60 HP Promo Rockruff. We also have 60 HP Zeruas and the 60 HP Sneasel. Um, we also have uh, Triple Kukui, Triple Cynthia, Double Acerola, Single Lily, Single Judge, Single Mallow. Then we have for Ultra Ball, Triple Choice Band, the Single Counter Game, where if we have more prize cards than our opponent, um, the attacks that the Pokemon discard is attached to cost colorless less. So you can Dangerous Rock for an energy, you can Evil Admonition uh, for a Dark Steel, never mind. <laughs> Uh, but essentially you can, I mean, sometimes even Raich is bidding for a single energy, but most of the time it's going to be important to Dangerous Rogue for a single energy, which is a really nice way to come back into a match. And then we have a single stretcher, single field blower, single multi-switch for su surprise of Dangerous Rogues as well. And um, the attachments, or the energy rather, the unit energy which provides fairy, dark, and fighting, so we even have access to... Um, Trickster GX if we really need to, where we get to choose one of our opponents, 
Pokemon's attacks and use it as this attack. And then we have the four DCs and the single fighting. So let's jump into a ladder. Uh, no, I do want to save the changes for the full art judge. Um, hello, Dylan. Thank you so much for being here. And let's jump into a ladder and see what we can do. Do I prefer um, standard or expanded? I think I prefer standard. I think Lost Thunder really brought a lot of cool new things to standard. And as you can see, guys, the other decks I've prepared for today are Zero Aura Rayquaza and Septal GX with Laurentis GX. Um, Shimichur, I already played Buzzle Ninetales um, last Friday, so you can either find the video um, like up there on the video on the Twitch video archive. Um, you can check the stream from last Friday, or you can wait for the game to come out on YouTube which it would be coming out on YouTube on not today, not tomorrow. Tomorrow is Alone Executor, Wednesday is Grumble, Thursday. On Thursday, the video will be on YouTube. But if you really want to watch it, you can go watch it over at the Twitch archive. Yeah. Okay, so we start Rockruff, but we start the Raw Elms Lecture, which is really, really cool. And... We are up against Naganadel with Placephalon, I would imagine. You're welcome, should make sure. And we see a Blitzel. So playing the... Oh, wait, what? Okay, so maybe this is uh, Rayquaza, Zero Aura. Naganadel, right? Based off of that lightning energy. Okay, so Professor Elm's lecture definitely grabbing double Zorua since I have double Zorg and we can't grab the slot unfortunately um, I could grab the Tero Prism could grab the Sneasel there's a chance my Rockruff goes down so I feel like I'm gonna grab the other Rockruff now I'll grab the Tero that way I can threaten Weavile as well the question is who gets the energy though if I'm expecting or assuming the active will go down then Probably the Ditto, right? And then we'll pass. And I even have the multi switch if I really need to. Yeah. Okay. So we do an Ultra Wall discarding Zero Aura and Lightning for a Lele. So the deck obviously has Naganadel and Aura. I'd imagine it has Rayquaza. And McLeod, thank you so much for the six bits. Very kind of you, thank you so much. I know I'm not hearing the notifications. It is something I wanna work on. And my dog just grabbed wrapper from the rubbish and was licking <laughs> the cookie wrapper. Okay. So there we see the mysterious treasure. Could be for another Poipole, could be for a Ray. It this could just be a zero hour attack as well. Yeah, this could also just be a zero hour attack as well. Potentially. And yeah, maybe it's just Nakana Del Zero Aura. Which I mean the psychic typing does cover Zero Aura's weakness to an extent. Um, okay, so we have a pretty decent hand, honestly. Um, I have the potential to take down that Naganadel. All I need to do is find a DCE, ideally. It's not a DCE. I feel like I'm not going to need the Choice Band, because there are always weak anyways. Um, okay, so... I have a choice. I can either GX KO the Naganadel or GX KO the Lele. I feel like GX and KOing the Lele would be better. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Kukui. I do manage to find the Lycanroc. So I'm just gonna GX the Lele here. That sounds like a good enough plan. I will bench the other Rockruff. I will go ahead and use the multi switch. I'll attach the basic energy and I will dangerous rogue for two prizes. Hello Josh, thanks so much for being here. Did another Elms get a buzzle? My opponent is not happy with that 
situation, but we definitely are. Um, Max Potion, Canadel. I, I mean, my opponent obviously purposely not benching the Zora, but Nagandadels are not going to be enough to deal with Lycanrocks, right? Definitely not going to be enough. And so, double charging up ability. There's Coco. And there's an Aether Paradise Conservation Area. Okay. So Kogo as well makes sense in this deck. Um, what's my opinion on Gramble? I mean, I think it's actually good too. I think it's actually good. Um, I think it's actually quite decent. Um, okay, so I could end up using a Cerola. I definitely don't think I'll be using the Elms this turn. Um, get a DC and we get the Lele for a Cerola. So that's probably gonna be the plan for this turn. Um, get rid of the buzz? No, get rid of the Zorua. The buzz could be useful. Okay, so yeah, I think our plan here is to Acer a lot, pick up that Lycan Rock, and then just swing into a Coco with uh, Zoric. That works, right? That should work. Um, so yeah, I do think Gramble actually is stronger than I originally thought and it definitely has a lot of potential I mean, I could even set up my card if I really wanted to or Weavile uh, But definitely rather than hitting minus 30, I'll hit plus 10 and I'm just gonna go ahead and ride it just beating the Coco Now we could see a Coco cycle for sure um, Josh, do I think Buzzrock Ninetales is better than Buzz Ninetales or does it depend on the player? Uh, no, I definitely think any fighting deck is always improved by running Lycanroc. Yeah, it's always improved by running Lycanroc. So I would definitely prefer Buzz Rock Ninetales over pure Buzz Ninetales. And real games out here, you haven't missed too much. I've uh, been online 25 minutes, and this is only the first game of the Zorg Lycanroc deck. Uh, do you think it is worth taking a Lolan Mock in Zoroark because Ditto? Nah, I don't think so, Burrito Boy. You would stop your own Ditto, and I don't think opponent Dittos are that important or impactful. Okay, so we're gonna see an Electro Power, dealing 30 more damage, and then Thunder Mountain, the attacks of Lightning Pokemon, both yours and your opponents cost one Lightning less. How many Electro Powers have you used? Just one. Um, discards the Ditto Prism, we're fine with that. There's a Zip Strike, huh? There's the other Coco, allowing him to switch around between them. So I think my play or my plan to win is going to be to take a KO on this guy and then eventually use Googly Plus Choice Band to KO this guy. Right? I think that's going to be our plan for this game. Another Electro Power. So this Coco is dealing 190 damage, right? Yeah, 190 damage. And yeah, I was gonna say, use sides here. So unless I missed a Kukui, um, that was not going to get a KO, but that's fine. Um, okay, so trade number one, will see us get rid of the Cynthia. Trade number two, I mean, I think I'm gonna go and set up the Macargo here. Right, I think I just go ahead and set up the Macargo. Uh, onto the Ditto, and then trade for the other Acerola and get a KO on this Coco, whilst um, setting up a potential, um, I mean, I already used my GX move, but while setting up the potential Kukui plus Kukui plus Choice Band play next turn. Yeah. Set up Weavile, it is a free knock. Oh, right. Weavile dealt so much damage. Okay. I mean, this is fine. Both options are fine. Weavile gets me a knockout this turn, but then I lose the Weavile, and then I wouldn't have a way to secure a Choice Band for next turn. So this feels slightly, slightly better. Yeah, just slightly better. Like, in both instances, I got a knockout. In one instance, I got rid of energy. In the other, 
I don't, but I believe in both. I won the game the next turn. So both were equally as viable. And with Makaru now I have guaranteed knockout next turn. With Weavile, if I lose the Weavile, sure, I mean, I'm so far ahead that it probably doesn't matter. Um, in other situations, the Weavile might have been better. Um, would have left the uh, Damage Zorg on the field, would have cost me a retreat. Either way, I think was fine. And hello Jedi, I've been fine, thank you. How about yourself? You think just one alone mock no grammar can be a good counter to Gramble, shutting off orange Guru Vortex. Yeah, that's actually potentially true. I think Gramble is um, very weak to having the Macargo be knocked out. Yeah, I think if the Macargo gets knocked out for Gramble, the deck really struggles. So I think that's what you would try to target. Rather than dedicating a spot towards countering it, I feel like as long as you consistently KO the Macargos rather than attacking into the Grambles, um, you should be fine. Yeah. Okay, so that's 170 if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. There we go. You made the Blasephalon deck, it's really fun. <laughs> it is very fun and very powerful, right? Very fun and very, very powerful. Okay. So, can the dog play Rita Boy? <laughs> no, she can't. She doesn't know how to play Pokemon yet. Okay, pretty solid win right there. One of those Psychic Pokemon opponents bench, they were Nakanadels. And now GX Nakanadel. Okay. Hello, Luis. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, looking for opponent. Taking a bit longer today than usual. Hello, Cookie Cookie. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. So, our guess impossible matchup, Doc Mick, indeed. Or it definitely feels like a really tough matchup for that deck. <clears throat> okay. So, we're going second. So I think I'm gonna lead with Zorua. Our hand is actually really bad compared to the previous game. So this Mallow is, have, is gonna have to be very precise. And we see another Poipol start. You see yet another another poipo start. Okay. Now this is uh, Naganadel Blastafalon. Would you rather a dog be able to talk or be a superhero? <laughs> Definitely be able to talk. That way I could understand. That way she could tell me she needs to go to a toilet. Okay, choosing to attach energy to that poipo feels a bit unnecessary you have so many and you're not thinning by two too much by attaching one energy and you'd rather have the energy on the blood cephalon on turn one but hey um okay so nice tough deck for us and i can't even ultra space uh not for a baby buzz because it's prized so baby buzz <clears throat> one baby buzz one zero one zorg ours lockma are prized team polyzoic thank you so much Thank you so much for the 25 bits. Very kind of you. <laughs> very, very kind of you. Um, what else do we have prized? Um, one Kukui. And then one, no, not energy. I'm not sure what the last prize is. Maybe the multi-switch, I'm not sure. Okay, so. Gonna Cynthia into a pretty solid hand, not gonna lie. Um, this Nizel immediately becomes a threat. Um, we also have access to Zorg to start picking up something. We have the Elms Lecture as well. So this hand is pretty good. And if for some reason we lose the Zorua, then <clears throat> we would be able to GX KO something with Lycanroc. So we're in a pretty good spot. 
Baby Bus has been priced twice. Was it priced last game though? I don't remember. You want to be number one, Alex? You're number one in my heart. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, there's always like a, a power struggle um, between people who really want to um, be number one in the bits. Okay. Lysia and Blacephalon is so good. Why is Lysia and Blacephalon good? Like, what do you get beside the beast energy? Okay. So. We, we potentially knock out a Poipo. And then. What am I even trading? The unit energy, I guess? Or we could trade something that we grab off of the elves. I feel like we grab those three. I might just trade the Zora though. I think I'd rather trade Zora than an energy. No, I think I go energy actually. Ugh, this is tough. Yeah, let's go Zora. Okay. The choice one is potentially useful. Okay, so here's the thing though. We take a knockout here. I definitely need to evolve my Lycan Rock to protect it. And I could just cruise my KO with the Rock Ruff. That would be bad. Or cruise my KO with the Lycan Rock, rather. So. No, I think I still just evolve to protect. I won't use my ability and I'll take a knockout. This doesn't feel great. It all depends on what my opponent has. But my opponent could easily punish this by going, promoting anything, attaching, recharging, Kuzma, Kale, like and Rock. Well, that will leave him energy less for the most part. Um, Heat Factory. Oh, Heat Factory. Okay, that's fair. And you can play Ditto. That's true. Eh, Shuffle Zero, ¿tienes algún consejo para saber qué hay en los premios cuando en físico? Eh, pues conocer muy bien tu lista y lo que yo hago normalmente es checar primero energías, luego Pokémon y luego ya eh, lo que haya de uno en los supporters o así. Ok, so my opponent did promote the Poipo, clearly indicating that he's gonna go after the Lycan Rock. Right? Definitely gonna go after the Lycan Rock, or he's going to attempt to at least. This cards the fire that he needed off of that acrobike in order to um ooh this cards the energy of the acrobike which he needed in order to get the KO or to recharge and then get the KO. It's gonna stretch her back the poipo and the Lele into the deck. Interesting. Why didn't I knock out the Naganadel? Because it has 130 HP, Alex. And I not only didn't have a full bench, but I also didn't have that extra 10 to KO the Naganadel. Perfect hand for my opponent. What a hand. Wow. What a hand for my opponent. That is actually a ridiculous hand. I mean, we can potentially get a return KO, but it's gonna be way too difficult here. That was a really ridiculous turn though. And I knew this was going to happen. I really, I literally knew this was going to happen. Okay. So hopefully he can't get back to back attack like that. Or we can top tick the Kukui and be pretty happy about that. Now we're just missing the stadium and a basic. So we're gonna trade number one. If we get this knockout, oof, that's gonna be crazy if we get this knockout. Ah, and we don't get the knockout. We're 20 short. Because our baby buzz is priced, we can't get this knockout. Because I didn't trade the energy and I trade this Rua, we can't get this knockout. Ah, so bad. So sad. So unlucky. <laughs> oh well. So I'll touch here, I guess. And then I definitely wanna stop him from getting more Pokemon. And I'll just ride she's beating. Why did he discard the beast? Because there's a bug, Dogmic. There is a bug that doesn't allow, um, or I, I actually have no idea why he discarded the beast. I actually have no idea. Maybe he feared Enhanced Hammer. Maybe he feared Enhanced 
Hammer. Okay, so Lily. No energy in this card. So we'll probably get confused here or something. In your opinion, Straight Zorg is better. I disagree, I think. Um, well, I don't like the style of um, energy denial Zorg and stuff like that. Okay, so my opponent chooses to discard a prize. Right? Therefore, um, I'm going to attach energy to this Measle. And I'm going to go ahead and evolve. And then attach the choice man. I'm going to send you as well. He misattached? Yeah, he misattached. Or he was hoping to find a really good hand off of the Cynthia or Lily, whatever he did, um, in order to threaten, right? With a KO, but he in fact did not get that. So I think I don't need to waste roll of this game. One should be enough. And then we'll go ahead and trade. Probably the Guzmo. That feels like the least useful card here. Uh, Judge, I might need to bring him down in cards. So we'll just ride his beating. Why he attached active? Maybe he was expecting to get enough resources for a KO. I don't know. I do not know. So we get another Zorg and the Buzzle. So there's the Buzzle. Okay. So there's the first energy. Um, we are in B-string turn, yeah, we are in B-string turn, so. Acrobike. Replaces the stadium. Okay, so I'm gonna have to GX KO the Blacephalon. Alright, I'm gonna have to GX KO the Blacephalon. Is it worth playing bodybuilding tumbles for this matchup? Potentially, yeah. I know a lot of the Zorg decks um, did end up playing. Um, hmm. I know a lot of the Zorg decks in Japan did end up playing bodybuilding dumbbells. It might be because of this, right? Although, think about the math. Like, if Zorg has bodybuilding dumbbells, it has 250 HP, right? That's still 10 energy, I mean, 5 energy that Placephala needs. Uh, in order to get a KO. There's no difference between 210 and 250. There is a difference if... Oh, he found the B-string. There is a difference if you... Um, if you attach... If you attach it to Lycanroc, but not onto Zorg. Yeah? Does it matter if you use corner or tackle Rockruff? I mean, it doesn't matter. I think corner is a really useful attack, though. So that's why I would use it. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. He needs five energy either way. He needs five energy right here, right? He's going to get rid of the three from the Nagana Bells and leaves two on the active. That's definitely... Ugh. Now he's down to a Guzma. He needs Guzma energy to win the game. One, two, three, four, five, six. 14, 15. Okay, he needs Guzma energy to win the game, right? In order to knock out um, my Weavile on the bench. He needs exactly Guzma energy. So I'm gonna evolve here. I'm gonna replace the stadium. And now uh, I have to trade first. I really want to judge my opponent just because five to four is a little bit better. He can just GX? No, he already used the GX attack. He already used the GX attack. Okay, so I'm gonna get back the Lycan Rock. I'm gonna get back the Lycan Rock. And I obviously won't use my ability. I'm gonna go ahead and attach the DC. Um, having the puzzle or the Weavall as targets doesn't really matter. Uh, the choice band. Jeez, my opponent keeps saying well played and spamming the emotes. That's super, super annoying. 
who gets the choice band? This guy. And then we'll judge him. Super annoying guy. And then we'll trade this. So he has played 1, 2, 3, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 energy out of, out of a potential 17, I'd imagine. Not KOing with Weavile. If I KO with Weavile, I lose Vortex. <laughs> well, I lose to an energy. This, this way, I lose to energy Kuzma. Okay. He promotes the Blacephalon. Uh, that doesn't mean he doesn't have the Guzma. He could have just top decked it right here. I guess he only needs the energy though. Yeah, I guess he only needs the energy. And he got it. Okay. Uh, it's even more annoying to lose to people who do that, especially when I whiff the KO by that one Pokemon. If I don't whiff that KO, the game would have been completely, completely different. But what can you do? Super annoying to be playing against something like that, someone like that. But anyways, we'll move on. So next game, we'll see how that goes. Um, the key turn, the key, the key mistrade, I guess when I chose to discard a Zorua rather than the energy. Um, finding the like the Kukui, the Choice Man and the Stadium felt so unlikely that I didn't think I would be able to pull it off. Um, he also had the perfect hand to counter my Lycanroth. That was pretty ridiculous. Um, so every time my opponent had everything he needed. Yeah, so what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Okay, so let's start with the puzzle. No reason not to. And he went first. Like if any of those are different, any of those things are different, we would have crushed him. But anyways, how is our aura ray? We will find out. The Blygen hurts. Um, I do plan on uh, playing Zero Aura Rayquaza with Naganatel um, after this deck. Okay, we have three Elms Lecture prized. That's pretty good. I guess. Uh, Ditto's in there. We have Lagan Rock in our hand. So Macargo and three Elms and one Zoark are prized. That's immediately five prizes we've figured out. Um, and something else. And a stadium. Okay, so there's our six prizes. Would Lies Under Prism work in Blastephalon deck, please? I mean, it would work. Sure, but I don't think there's ever a turn. Like, any time you can actually use Lies Under Prism rather than Kuzma or just see more cards with Cynthia or Lily or Sightseer, it's a free turn. It's a game you would have won anyways. And what are you removing with Lysander Prism that would actually make a big difference? I don't think there's anything you would. So actually, no, I I actually don't think, um, like Lysander Prism, it would work because you have fire Pokemon, yes. But is it a good inclusion? No, it's not. Okay, so attach energy to Rockruff and hope slash assume he doesn't have um, Guzma DT, right? Nest Ball for Slugma, attaches Choice Bands to Slugma, so this is a Macargo GX deck. This is a Macargo GX deck based on what we're saying right now. And my opponent actually switches and chooses to magmaring my buzzwall. So if I had an energy, I would be able to potentially goose my KO the slug. However, that would cost me pretty much my whole hand, although I can a Cerola. I mean, using Ultra Wall for the Kukui and the Kuzma, trading away the Field Lord just for the small chance that I can KO the Slugma, feels really bad. 
and I would only I would need a hundred percent that DC even. So I think I'm gonna Kukui. <laughs> I did get that DC. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and evolve. Bring up the Lele back. Attach there, and then I'll pass. Right? And then I'll pass. And then I will pass a Rooney. Okay, so it's the energy onto Lele. Really awful start for my opponent. Clearly. Um, decides to trap my puzzle, to keep trapping my puzzle, so now I'm going to use Acer a lot, right? And yeah, this is 100% Makargo GX, but KOing this Lokma next turn will probably definitely be game. Yeah. Okay. Would you play Makargo GX over Blasephalon just for smooth over? You feel, yeah, Blasephalon is 100 times better, I'd say. Okay, so trading away the Ultra Ball seems good. Everything else seems potentially useful. I even get another Ultra Ball. So I'm gonna Acerola, <clears throat> promote this guy. And then who gets the energy? I guess that Buzzle gets the energy. And then we will plus slash. Okay. Get another Zorg. So slowly but surely we're taking control over the game. Um, yeah, I mean we played Makargo GX on Friday and we definitely concluded that that is just not up to par in my opinion. Just not up to par, you know? Do you think Baby Bus Rock Zorg is good? Baby Bus... Baby Bus Rock? Zorg? What do you mean Baby Bus Rock Zorg? Like Baby Buzzle and Zorg? Yes, it's good. Do you play the INC in this list? No, I do not Vortex. No, I do not. Um, escape rope. Not a big deal, we do have the Kuzma, so I'm gonna promote the puzzle. Just Baby Buzz and Lycan Rock and Zorg. I mean, that's what we're playing, Burrito Boy. That's pretty much what we are playing. Isn't Diancy needed against Granville Vortex? I mean, you do have triple Kukui, so... Maybe, maybe not. Um, with triple Kukui, you can KO with both Zorg and the Stadium, and also with Lycan Rock. Um, but Diancy would make the numbers a little bit easier, right? It would take away that pressure. Um, uses a GX attack, but decides to bench a fourth Pokemon. So we lost Kugui, Judge, Ultra Ball, DC, and Kuzma. That's fine. Um, I guess we're not KOing the Makargo this turn. Um, so I should just KO another Slugma, right? Uh, Burrito Boy. I've made some, yeah, I've made some. And then trade away the Mallow, I feel. How would you rank the Lost Thunder, Lost Thunder decks from last week? Um, do I KO Slugmar or do I KO Ranguru? I think I KO Slugmar, right? Um, how would I rate the decks from last week? That's a good question. I think the best one, I don't know I attached the choose in there. I think the best one, hmm. Probably Blasevola and Aganadel. Um, in second place, probably Lost March. In third place, probably Crumble. Um, in fourth place, Malamar with Giratina. In fifth place, oh my gosh, he. Is he. Does he have knockout here? Yeah, he does have knockout. Oh boy. Does Makar just lose to Shrine? I have played Giratina for the way I played last week. Um, does Makar just lose to Shrine? Probably. Probably just loses to Shrine. Okay. 
So my opponent will be able to take a pretty solid KO here. Not gonna lie, this is a pretty solid KO. What do I think about Zoro, Desi, Ninetales, Locket Master? Um, I haven't tried it out yet. Um, I know it's being hyped a lot on Pogovich by Rukan, but I haven't tried it out yet. I did like the CGI Ninetales quite a bit. I did like the CGI Ninetales quite a bit. Um, let's choice spend this friend. And then let's, I mean, let's Field Lore, sure. And then let's Cynthia. We'll Cynthia and then we trade. We still don't see how Makari GX is good. I agree, Sonic Hood. Like, it's okay, right? It's just not, it's not great. It's not good, it's not bad. I mean, it's good. I think it's just okay. It's just nothing outstanding, right? Uh, four Pokemon with abilities. So the Ditto Prism is really cool here. Because what we could do is Ultra Ball away and set up a Rock Rub Attach Energy to it. And that way we could threaten with both uh, Ditto Prism and the Rock Rub. However, I think that would be too costly on resources. Uh, yeah. So let's just Sledgehammer here. If my opponent goes after a Ditto Prism, that's fine. We just finish off the Makaru with Zork. Um, eventually, like my last prize might end up being Tapu Lele. We do see a Mallow, so that Makaru GX is definitely not getting healed. Hello, the White Snake, how are you doing? The Sierra Nantos got top caught in the French special event. Yeah. It was a non GX safeguard. Bad Ninetales. <laughs> bad? I wouldn't say it's bad. Didn't it have both Ninetales? I don't remember. Timer Ball, <clears throat> Double Tails, Struct, okay, so I think we're good here, right? This org will finish off this Macargo, and we'll use this org plus hopefully a Rock Ruff to KO that Lele for our last two prizes. So let's think this through. I think I'm gonna bench Lele. And I'm gonna grab, sure, the Cynthia. And that's what I'm gonna trade. Yeah, so basically I just stint my deck by, by one card. Uh, this Nizel is also potentially pretty powerful to just get rid of anything. So maybe that's what I'll end up benching instead of the rock rub. I think it's fine. This Nizel does require an energy though. Okay, this should be good. This should be able to give me the win here. Right? Next turn at least. We get two prizes, that's also two extra cards. Probably two elms. Oh, the Bardfield and elms. You're watching my video where I showcase the new Ninetales GX with the CDI. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah. If he plays Max Potion, Max Potion would have been annoying, but Max Potion would have meant I would have had to use Ditto, right? My play would have been um, Kukui, Ultra Over Lycanroc, Choice Band, GX KO, the Macargo. It would have been fine. We see a bodybuilding dumbbells, right? We see a bodybuilding dumbbells. That's not going to be enough to save my opponent. So I'm going to trade number one. I need Lycanroc here. And this... Oh, this doesn't give me Lycanroc. <laughs> and trade number two. Uh-oh. Did I pry the Lycanroc? I don't remember. Uh, I guess I'll steal Kukui. No Lycanroc. I used my Field Lord? Yes, I have. Okay. Um, we're still at three prizes, so we're still fine here. Three Pokemon with abilities. I can hit for 200 damage, just not 250. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and write to spinning. Revile Choice Band, Chocolate Sacro does not get the KO. Revile Choice Band, Kukui. Oh, no. Revile Choice Band, Kukui. And the Ward Field was 210 damage, but um, with the body building dumbbells, I need to hit for 250. Oh, yeah. Kuzma Choice Band on the Weavile was KO on the Lele. But I didn't have the Weavile before that. Did I? Did I have KO there? If I did, that's my bad. We were going to win anyways, but... Okay. You've been testing Bloodstrom Nightdales and so far not impressed. Very clunky. Yeah, I was not too impressed with the deck either. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for Zork, Like and Rock. Um, obviously, I need to play with the deck more. Um, every turn you have so many different plays. Um, Magargo GX definitely sucks, I agree. And hello, Horrorbrine. Thank you so much for being here. Um, Vortex, have I tried Sylvan with Fairy Charms yet? No, I have not. Um, yeah, I got the Weavile from the Kukui, right? I was not... It was not an option before. So anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you so much. But I could have evolved into Makargo and gotten the Weavile. So maybe I got one, one turn earlier. It's fine. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. If you're live with me on Twitch, don't get over, guys. We now have Zero Aura, Rayquaza, and Aganadel coming up. And um, that should prove to be quite fun. Uh, Rat, King, Rat King OP, I am going to Anaheim Regionals, I'll definitely be there, and yeah, don't go anywhere guys, I will be right back in just a few minutes.